So let's take a look at how you can create razor pages in ASP.NET Core. So first thing, you'll open Visual Studio. You can also make this using Visual Studio Code, but we will try to only restrict our attention to Visual Studio. So the version I'm using right now is 2022. So you can do it for 2022 Community Professional and Enterprise Edition. So let's use the community edition and when you open it, it looks something like this now create a new project right so first thing is we are going to check for asp.net core web app so for that let's just choose on language then we will choose let's say all platforms and then we will try and use all project types and here we have asp.net core web app right so select that right now next thing we will hit next here we can type in razor web app right should be in a location of your choice or it will go to the default your user then source reports right now click next to choose the dotnet version so here as you can see the framework stays 6.0 because it's LTS if you are seeing this in future it could be 8 or 9 or even 7 then select this configure for HTTPS and then click on create it should open Visual Studio in project mode and we will have to pay attention to Solution Explorer because that's where our project is going to be also we will have to check for Trust SSL certificate because we have chosen the option of configure for HTTPS so let it create the project and open it in visual now as you can see on the right hand side we have our solution explorer and our project so if we choose our project within solution explorer and then we choose to run this without debugger we will have to use control and f5 keep pressing this start without debugging right as you can see the console has started where you can see the progress another thing is your default browser in my case edge is open where you, you get to see the razor page being run now if we close this and come back to our solution explorer here you can see your folders where first is pages folder right so inside that you will find cs html basically html markup with c sharp code right so there are files like privacy index error right and then there is also ww root folder so everything that you want access like your static assets like javascript css images should be located here then there is app setting json which is for your configuration data like your database connection strings etc then comes program CS it should look something like this right it has C sharp code in it giving calls to specific functions route authorization map reserve pages run use static files etc right then comes the dependencies and connected services by default you don't have connected services but there are dependencies that you can go through framework and then you see them right there is also analyzer files 
locally here right so your solution explorer will show you the data regarding your ASP.NET core app with support for Razor Pages okay so let's try and create a new Razor Pages web app with our .NET command line tool so we will go to the directory where I wish to host this project so cd temp then we will clear this now type in .NET new right here we get the idea which project we can create and there is a short name for razor so we will use that so .NET new razor and then name of our project right so let's clear this dot net new razor dash o then my razor right so this is a project we want to create and it has started creating that solution right so what we'll do is we will go to that particular directory so e temp my razor right so i can open this within Video Studio code right and that should be our project as you can see you can now check this here you can see if you want to install recommended extension for C sharp installed right so it is being installed right coming back to here as you can see we can see our program.cs and other folders like ww root properties pages and object folder now we can also do dot net run to run our project right so before that we'll just have to do one thing which is we'll have to check for dev search so dot net then dev dash search and then type in https right space double dash trust right and valid certificate is present and we can go and examine the folders or simply run our project right so dot net before that we will do cd my razor clear and dot net run so it will build that right so let me see extension is done i can go back here and i can minimize now and wait for it to build and hopefully it should open within that particular port that we have reserved for our razor project here you see you have localhost 7119 right also there is 5033 port where it's started so let's wait for it to open on its own or maybe i will have to try this so let's see if it's listing to 719 right and here you see application is live on 7119 right so this is another method for creating your razor page that too by making use of dotnet cli and visual studio code okay now that we have installed it for visual studio 2022 and also for visual studio code can go ahead and create a data model also scaffold our pages and then work on rest of the projects however we are only covering the part up to you getting started with razor pages project in these both tools right so hopefully by now you have managed to create your own project either using visual studio or visual studio code so visual studio code gets you uh, up and running lot quicker and compared to Visual Studio 
you will also find that in Visual Studio Code uh, if you have limited requirements you can get it running a lot quicker as well but that's just personal opinion each to their own when it comes to using IDE so hopefully you get the idea how to install your Reduce the Pages project either one of the methods explained here should work.